I'm Caitlin. I'm Abby. And we're with the Tanya Harbin team, and today we are at the Soda District. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Guess what it means? South of downtown Abilene. We had no idea. It's so catchy, though. And now it's fun. Yep, as Abby said, south of downtown Abilene, we're gonna show you guys a few bars, axe throwing, and just stuff to do around here. Yep. Our first stop is KO Lounge. It has specialty beers and cocktails. They have so many good cocktails that I love, especially the lemon drop martini. Yes, good. and the coffee ones. Yes, amazing. they have a good coffee one. It's just a really cool atmosphere. It honestly doesn't even feel like you're in Abilene. Oh my gosh, no. It's like Abilene's personal little club. Yes. It's so much fun. Let's check it out. is the mill. Hello, mill. It's a great place in Abilene. They have a wide selection of wines, beers. beers. They're all local. They also have cigars, peach bellinis, which are yes. my personal favorite. And also, it has a really pretty outside seating area. That's yes, great to it's hang a really out with pretty your friends. patio. You can rent out the gazebos and things like that too. They also have sangria, which, which is, is one is thing. My that's favorite. very popular it's so here. Good. Yes, so come check it out. We're at the mill. We're about to get a drink <laughs> called the Winerita, and it's gonna be good. Thursday night is the uh, steak night. They got the big pit out back, and they will cook all the sides to go with it. It is a big time, Abilene, Texas. Come see us. Hey guys, we're back again with the Soda District. Today we're at Sock Dolliger. This place has beer and wine, and they also have um, a couple events throughout the week. So they have karaoke night, trivia night. They have a nice patio that you can come sit on, as well as inside seating. I mean, and it has a beautiful scenery. Everything's really nice and authentic here. Mm -hmm. I personally love their rosé, so if you come here, check that out. It's really good. Well, let's go figure out what my favorite thing is from here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so after talking to the bartender, we found out about all of their deals and specials that they have throughout the week. Yeah, so the first one is that when a train goes by on a certain day, the train beers are $3, which is a great deal. Because they're normally $5, so every time the train goes by, the price of beer changes from 5 yeah, to 3 because we're right by the train track, yes. so you'll see it. And then um, bottomless mimosas on Sunday, Saturday, and Mondays now. Mm -hmm. And they're looking at adding a food option for brunch, so that would be really good. I mean, and every single day they're going to have a different special, so depending on what day you come in, there's a different special mm -hmm. for And another for one you. of the specials was the beer towers are normally 25 and they're 15 on a certain day, so that's a good thing to check out if you like beer. Yeah. And of course they make all of their beer in-house, they have a wide selection. We even got one that's strawberry cheesecake. Yeah, and it looks really yummy yeah. and it's Abby sour. Really it. Yeah, it's I like it because it doesn't taste like the normal nasty beer that I don't like. <laughs> and then if you like rosé, they have that. They have a ton of red wines and white wines, so come check it out. Yeah. So we are now at the Abilene Axe Throwing, which is actually right next door to KO in the And unfortunately, District. we came on the wrong day. Yes. So they're open Thursday, Friday, Saturdays. We'll have to come back and try I know, because I really want to really try, really try my yeah. hand in Axe Throwing. It's really fun. They actually have like a digital now, so you can choose different backgrounds and targets and things like that, which oh, is really cool. neat. Yeah. And I think they serve drinks too, right? Uh, I think it's BYOB. Oh, fun. I think. You yeah. have to double check us on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. So come check this out. Of course, only on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Right. Try out your aim. Let's see how well you can do. I would be kind of scared to come with Abby, so go with people that you trust. No, just, just me. <laughs> <laughs> but come check it out. Guys, we are at the cutest place right now. It is Honey so and cute. Fig 
and Florence Posey's are, it's flowers, it's gelato, mm -hmm. it's home decor. It's, and it's so adorable. cute. They also have jewelry. Like the seating area is so cute. I think so I could sit precious. in here all day. Honestly, doing homework here would be fun. Oh, that too. would be yeah. fun. Yeah, so they have a great gelato. Obviously. I got dark chocolate. They had coffee, pistachio. Mm -hmm. um, what'd you get? A lot of gluten free options. I got the honey and fig, which was made with a goat milk yeah, instead of a whatever milk. So it's really good <laughs> and, you know, I think healthy. Yeah, that makes it healthy, I'm pretty sure. So they also have a ton of floral arrangements that you can actually purchase here. I think they were around 20 to $30, right. something like that. So And they can make custom ones for you too. Mm -hmm. so they do it's a lot of weddings, so it's all just really like right beautiful. in this one place right here in the Soda District across from KO and the uh, axe, axe throwing. throwing. Yeah, so it's so cool. Yeah, definitely, definitely check it out after you axe throw come. or go to KO and you need some gelato. Mm -hmm. it's need very a cool good. off place, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. We are now at the Soda District Courtyard, which was actually one of the first things that they redid in the Soda District. It's a venue you can yes, rent out. Yes, you can rent out the courtyard for engagement parties, proposals, mm -hmm. lots of stuff. It's a really pretty backdrop. We are now at Amendment 21, which I love. This place is so cool. It's so hip, so fun. I mean, you can definitely tell it lives up to its name. It looks like it's a, a cool turn vibe. of the century. Mm -hmm. I mean, it turned modern. Yes. It's it's really great. They have big open windows, garage doors, a huge patio. All the staff are so nice. And they the drinks even are so good. Remembered Abby from her 21st yes, birthday party a couple months ago. So they're so nice. Um, they actually have happy hour every day. And then on Wednesday, it's all day. So it's $5 Chilton's, um, $5 Moscow Mules. I mean, $2 off beer. There are um, whiskey sour. Whiskey yeah, sour? Whiskey $5 sour. $5, yeah. And, uh, I think the martinis are also $5. Yeah, so a lot of good deals. We love this place, definitely come check it out. And we definitely came on a good day yeah, because we got so the Moscow yes. Mules. And yeah. that's not what we're having. <laughs> we got the, Caleb got a Moscow Mule. We got, we got Chilton's, which are very good. We love them. A good summer drink. So. Yes, very fresh, light, fun. Come check this place out. They're also looking at doing live music and food trucks and adding that, so that would be really fun to check out. So, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, it's Come a really join cool us. place. Thank you guys for joining us on our tour of the Soda District. We have loved showing you guys the growth that Abilene has had, and we're so excited to see what comes to Abilene next. Make sure to like and subscribe, and to tell us your favorite place in Abilene. Yeah, we would love to go tour it for you guys and make a video. Ooh. Cheers! <laughs>